Hello everyone. As you can see by amulet right now, doesn't have any damage on it and instead uses skills like plus ranks on human skills, plus ranks on uh, web mastery. Another good one would be for my build plus uh, ranks on frigid finesse and for example movement speed more than like the cooldown reduction. The energy uh, cost reduction is pretty good though. Um, so yeah, let's talk a little bit about the damage calculation and how I can raise like my damage by 10% with increasing my dexterity, my crit chance, my crit damage, my overall damage or my vulnerable damage and how much I actually need. I will calculate all that. So let's have a look on the spread right here. There we go. And so this was basically tested by the community or by some people of the community. Um, and this is how the damage works. So this is a lot of information right now, so let's break this down. So right here we have the damage formula, uh, which is main stat is multiplied by a big bucket of additives for the vulnerable damage, the crit damage, and the global multipliers. So what is the main set? The main set is basically your damage from the weapons and your attack speed. So the big bucket of all additives is like here right now, which is the plus percentile damage. In general, all plus damage where the plus is mentioned, which is damage with core abilities, damage with gold abilities, damage versus dazed enemies, versus health here, versus frozen, versus elites, and all this stuff. All this stuff is added. Then we have like vulnerable damage, which is its own multiplier. This is why vulnerable damage is actually so good. So it's not additive, it's multiplicative with everything else. And then the crit damage which is, well, it's more like one plus a crit chance multiplied with the crit damage. And yeah, the crit, uh, global multipliers are also like the main stat, which gives you an additional skill damage percent, which is also a global multiplier and basically all what you get from your weapons from, and from your passives and stuff like that, which have X percent damage on it. So let's see what this does for me. I right here have a rogue. Let's go here in there. And right now to increase my damage by 10%, I kind of need, like as I have on my boots right now, an additional 10% X as a multiplier. Or I can also increase my dexterity to increase my damage by 10% per dexterity is pretty simple. Actually, if you have like no dexterity at all, you need 100 dexterity. Um, but since I have already 880, I also need another 88 dexterity, which is 10% of the dexterity. So 188 dexterity. Then the next point is all the additive damage, which is like all damage, which is, which I have right now, 108%. 108 and yeah, um, let's calculate something quick. I have 100% normal damage, which is my main set, obviously. This is like always your base. Uh, then you have one, let's round this a little bit, 110% all damage, plus 110, plus 85 versus elites, plus 50 versus control. This is always like these things which basically always happen. I guess elites doesn't always happen, but the damage versus elites is the most important. So normal units are dying either way. So yeah, let's add this also. Let's add 120% close. I'm basically always doing close damage with my build. I'm not always having like healthy opponents. Let's keep this out for now, keeping this out I will keep like a few things out here, but yeah, um, then what is next? Let's add 20% physical, add 155 core damage and 40% cutthroat. So this is like aren't all. If you add this all up, you have like 680% damage. 
And to increase this by 10%, you need 10% of it, so 68. When you add this up, you kind of should keep in mind what you always do and what actually is not really that important, or which basically doesn't happen that often for you. So yeah, um, I kind of need 68% of any of these damage, for example, core damage, okay, it's my core skill damage by 68 and I get there. So right here on my main hand, it's it's like a little bit less than 68% core damage, but uh, it's round about there. So let's get the next to the vulnerable damage, um, because it's basically pretty simple. The vulnerable damage is right now 220, so I have like 100, 100 core plus 220 vulnerable damage, so it's like 320, 10% of it is 32. So I need 32 vulnerable damage. The next one is a crit chance and crit damage, which is a little bit harder to calculate. Not that much, but a little bit. Um, so let's round this here. We have 40% crit chance. We have 320% crit damage. So let's go to the calculation. So I have basically one is my core damage and um, or 100% and 40% times 320% uh, which is then 2.28 so to increase this I need to increase my damage by 0 0.228 which is round about 7% crit chance so 7% crit chance is 7 times 320 which is 0 0.2 um, 0.224 which is a little bit less but it's roundabout and um, for crit damage I need 57% because 40% times 57 is 0 0.228 so yeah so I can increase basically my damage with by 10% by adding like these stats and then you can see like some kind of comparison between the stats. I have on my weapon right now 150% dexterity which is a little bit less than 10%. I have 61% vulnerable damage which is quite a lot more than 10%. Also you kind of need to add that vulnerable damage doesn't always happen which is something which you need to keep in mind so it's not really the real calculation but it's uh, close to that because like more normal enemies die in three seconds and you basically apply to everything three seconds of vulnerable damage with um, your let's go here it's my power gun with uh, like the exploit glyph And most things just die in seven, uh, three seconds. It's a little bit different if you talk about, for example, the echo of Lilith, but for everything else, it kind of makes sense to assume that vulnerable damage is always there. So let's go back. Then we have like 58% core still damage. So that's also like a little bit lower than the 68%, but it's pretty up there. Um, pretty close to it, it's like 9%, let's say 8.5% damage. Um, then we have 63% crit damage, which is a little bit more than 10%. So yeah, this is like what you have to basically have in mind when you all on, on your weapons or what you want on your weapons. Um, right now, here, for example, on my main weapons, I kind of would rather go for vulnerable damage than dexterity, but it's uh, close. 
it's always takes more walls to get uh, vulnerable damage because dexterity always shows up so uh, i kind of rolled like a lot for that and i didn't get vulnerable damage so i keep it all around for now but yeah basically you need to calculate for yourself if if you have like rings you kind of want always crit damage crit chance and vulnerable damage on it the force that is not really that important but yeah um, some kind of damage which you can always activate basically on your neck like the ranks on weapon mastery gives always a damage multiplier and the ranks on impugment skills also gives a, a, a damage multiplier like frigid finesse also gives in a damage multiplier which is really nice um, energy cost reduction is obviously that you can use your skills more often but yeah, that's what it is. Thanks for watching.